This is the Premature Weekend Edition. My name's D7 here at Grok Trade. Video is good through Sunday, May 8th, 2016. And you guys are saying, why is this video being done on Thursday, May 5th, good through Sunday, May 8th? Here's the deal. A bunch of us are heading to Vegas for the mentorship we've been talking about last couple months. Well, that time has come. We are out the door. So here's the skinny. I'm going to try my best to do videos next week. Both Meerkat and myself will be there in Vegas teaching and training. And the markets close at 1 p.m. Pacific time. And we're in the middle of class at that moment. So uh, again, I will try to get a few videos done next week. Won't be that many, so I'm going to make this a great video. You're going to love this. Well, looking here at the markets, again, on Thursday, the markets close, mostly bearish, but break even for the most part. Dow is up nine points or so, and crude oil up 1%. Everybody else very, very flat. Here we are looking at the S&P 500. And as you guys know, I had put on a short position and been riding that dude down, 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 and down. I kept adding to that short position as we were dropping. However, on Thursday, I went ahead and tightened up some stop losses uh, because I think that we are going to probably get a little bit of a bounce here. It might be short-lived, but anything can happen here in the markets. I want to protect my profits at this moment. And um, after we get a bounce, if we do get that bounce, I'm going to look to go short yet again. So that's what I'm looking at. Now, if you look here at the S&P 500 below a lot of the moving averages, and we are above some of the moving averages. We're still above the 50-day moving average and the 200-day moving average, the 100-day moving average. Uh, we have this nice pullback right into a big area of support here coming across. So this is why I think that the markets may want to do us a little bounce before we drop. Now would give us our right shoulder. So you got a shoulder, head, and if we pop back up here and then drop, that would give us our right shoulder. Be a huge trend reversal. And the markets would be looking to start dropping after this big, big rally we've had the last couple months. And as far as the diamonds are concerned, we drop, 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 drop. And again, caught up in the moving averages. And you can get a lot of choppiness while you're inside these moving averages. But we've been going to the downside here. And the question is, can we get another rally going higher? I think we have a decent chance of that taking place. The NASDAQ has just been crashing. You'll notice that price action is below all major moving averages. So relatively speaking, the NASDAQ has been leading the direction to the downside here in the markets. And that is starting to come to a slowness. We do have a tweezer bottom. So those are very powerful on the bullish side. So it would not surprise me to see a nice little rally commence. And this would be a bear pullback. If we could get this pullback to get back to about 107 here on the queues and that would be the area to be looking to short yet again small calves which is my favorite for shorting and this is what i was short we had this rising wedge we dropped down below the rising wedge and then we started challenging these moving averages we're breaking down below and breaking down below and we do still have the 50 we still have the 100 day moving average that could act as support but we continue to drop here and volume on the dropping is um, not overly light either. You're seeing a lot of people starting to participate in this downward move. This area coming across here that acted as resistance here should have acted as support, but it failed to do so. So this is telling me that there's still relative weakness out there in the markets in small caps. Far as financials are concerned this is problematic we have this huge rising wedge with the two blue lines here you can see those going in and the two lines are converging together this is very 
bearish once you start breaking down. Now, it, it's on the wrong side of business at this moment, and we're down below the 200-day and the 100-day moving averages here on the financials. We broke down below this on Wednesday. Thursday, we're still below it, and I called a sell actually on Wednesday. Uh, so if we stay below this blue line, watch for this to continue down. And if we break down, it could be a nasty, gnarly, bloody uh, market. Because if the financials break down, because it now has a chance of doing so, it's now broken through the ice. The ice is broken. The, it could come crashing down and it will yank the rest of the markets with it. So pay special attention to XLF and remember this chart. For the markets to stay healthy, price action has to get back above this trend line and all the moving averages. And US dollar, I'm going to put a sell sign on here. We got resistance and resistance, re resistance. And if the dollar does drop, that's going to make stocks buoyant here in the US. And that will help a bullish action of the markets or at least an upward drifting of the stocks if the, if the US dollar starts to suffer. However, on this last drop that we got a couple weeks ago, the markets were dropping at the same time the dollar was dropping. Very interesting, and that certainly could be the case again. Crude oil, we're in an uptrend, but we're at the resistance area. I've been, I called a sell. I continue to do so. Just a whole series of red candlesticks. The rising 20-day moving average acting as support. But I think this thing, I mean, it has a lot of playroom between these two, blo uh, two blue lines. But if you look at price action, we're staying in the upper echelon of this channel. We're staying up here opposed to down here. That's relative strength in the markets, especially if we can stay above the 20-day moving average. So this could get really bullish if we were to break over this. I'm not sure it has the strength to do so or the interest in the markets to do so. But nonetheless, I watch the charts and let the charts do the talking and trading. If you are smart or if you've been trading for any time at all, you know to throw the news out the window. I used to track the news and sometimes news would give me such the biggest blind sides you know it'd be the the worst news in the world and the and the stock would go higher or it would be the best news in the world and then the stock would sell off and you just it's hard to guess news so what i learned to do is watch price action because that's raw data volume is raw data what I want to do is look at raw data these indications gives you your ones and zeros it's black and white for you engineers out there that's what we love we love that so whoever reads price action the best wins matter of fact those that are taking the mentorship we have a whole bunch of great charts that we're showing and demonstrating advanced entry moves there's so much money out there in the market it's my assistant matter of fact she's new she's amazed with the money it's like guess who just made more money today and she and she is biting at the bit she can't wait this would be her mentorship she's going through in vegas and she is antsy to learn gold check this out down 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 i put a buy arrow here i think we could still drift lower but it's showing that people are wanting to buy up these lows that's why you get these lower shadows i'm interested in buying gold right now and silver dropping 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 doesn't look nearly as good as gold to me at this moment but nonetheless, I got buy um, signals here. I'm looking to buy precious metal. VIX, this is the fear indicator. It is tracking higher with bigger volume. However, this is turning into a little bear flag. We drop, drop, drop. We get this little bear flag. We could get another drop to the downside. If this drops, if the VIX goes lower, the markets are going higher. It is an inverse, inverse ETF, inverse index. And so, 
um, I'll give you guys one last warning. If you go to Grok Trade, we are getting rid of the 101s that are there now, and we're shortening them. These are about a half hour each or six of them. You can download them. They're yours to keep and use. They're highly educational. We're going to get rid of those, and we're cutting them all down to 15 minutes to make them uh, faster for comp you know consumption and better for comprehension, but we have to cut out half of it. If you want the more thorough education go now get signed up now uh, you want because they these are uh, we're getting ready to kill this i wasn't able to do it before we went to vegas so it'd be right after so you got a little bit of time here to do that now there is something that we've discontinued already but it is confirmed the emails that you get with these 101s uh, they do have a link to buy the um, 201s the 201s are not for purchase um, anymore, but because we're going to honor this, if you guys still get your hands on that link and you want to do this, do it right now. That will come to an end. We're going to give the 201s only as a prerequisite something to the mentor students. Um, it's just too good of a product just to have out there for people to get access to. We want our uh, mentor students to do better than all the other students out there and all the other traders out there we want our students to make more money than those traders out there who are not our students and we want our students to develop faster than all the other traders out there who are trying to learn and hone in their skills and we're going to put our students on the fast track so we are taking away the 201s those will only be for the mentorship students you can find out about mentoring here I've been trading 18 years. I mentored over 850 individual traders. We've been doing this a long, long time. And we are traders first, educators second, and we do both very well. If you like our daily videos, like it. Catch you guys later.